chapter, Darkest Before the Dawn. Sup everybody, my name's Crytek Enbomb, and welcome back to some more Lost Judgments. Assuming how everything has been edited and went out, we are now at a very, very prominent point. I, I don't even know what to think anymore. I'm just, I'm amazed. I don't know, I still don't know exactly what this Mystery Research Club progression is, but apparently I'm assuming we have to finish the actual main story to continue this. But probably this is another assumption that we probably have to do this not just after the main story is finished, but probably after we have done everything out of the 10 things we need to do, which we don't know when we'll get the next two, but doing one of these three here should give us something, because we can't do back again until the main story is finished. We can't go back to the robotics club until Teamwork is level 4, which, who knows, we might get it from photography club, so I'm not really expecting much, so we'll eventually see the, the turning point of the robotics club at some point. But other than that, we have skaters right in front of us, and it'd be nice to be able to go back to the dance club and finish up everything. I still remember in the back of my head that we have a big situation to happen at the dance club. We need to prove whether Nishizono is trying to plague Noriyuki and trying to get someone to harm her during the dance finals or whatever. And I still remember that, even though Fujimi is probably not going to remember that when I edit this, but A, going to be a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm I get to this one. But, anyways, we had this ugly ass casino we have to do, and I'm going to save that for after I do the photography club, actually. That's how much I don't want to do this yet. So, skaters start now. And, just for the thought, if you haven't won last time, so we ate pretty much matched out the Todoroki Boxing Gym. We finally got the skill to pay the bills and the box style feels even better than before and to make things even better there's a special ability that i didn't get to show off either in that last episode so i look forward to seeing whenever i can use the total rookie rush because man who that shit feels so good bro but for real i'm quite happy about you know everything to be considered there is certain attacks that I wish that, you know, we could do, because the EX styles are very iffy, but it always has to be at certain intervals of situation, but hopefully at some point we can show off one of the actual heat styles or EX actions that we have in this game for boxer style, because I've never shown an actual boxer style actual EX action, and I hope we can actually show them off. Because it's very hard to perform these. Because it's very situational. But it's also hard for me to do it more now. Because my boxer style is actually so freaking powerful now. So where I feel good dodging, weaving. I can parry very fast with the boxer style. It feels better than every style in the game right now. It feels even better than when I first initially said I'd like to play style 4. Because I have smooth it go. And now it feels powerful as hell. Now, get your Joe Hounds, huh? I feel weird seeing this on the ground here, but... Alright. Just the skaters. I wonder if these kids are the Ichijo Hounds. Uh, skateboarding group. Now, how do you want? I got the Ichijo Hounds. What if we are? How do I join? I'm a skater too. Huh? How old are you? Don't look like a high schooler. Oh, is there an age limit for skating? Oh no, not really. Evil eyed boy, is that really <laughs> gonna be the day we get? What's the problem? Hey Mitsui, you wanna check out the guy's skateboarding skills? That's the kid we're looking for, right? Shikishima. Oh, so this is Shikishima. Kid. It is true there's no age limit to skating, and it would help us a lot to have an adult in the group. Mm, I mean, I guess. What's your name? Yagami. You the leader? We don't really have leaders, but Shikishima and I have been running things lately. An organization with a flat structure. I like that. Oh, well, let's see if you have the basics down. Follow me. 
Yes, sir. Ooh, all right. Looking nice. Where are we? Escape park. This is where we practice all of our sickest moves. They have skateboards for rent, too. All right. Oh, what's that? The stencil of the Blue King. This part belongs to the father of this guy named Chiyoda. And Chiyoda's head of the Blue King. And Chiyoda's dad saw how crazy the skateboarding scene was getting an injury to him. So he built a skate park at one of his spare warehouses. But aren't you guys rivals of the Blue King? And aren't they dangerous? Like, aren't we on enemy turf right now? Are we gonna be okay? Place is a comical facility that anyone can use as long as they pay. Okay, I respect that. Besides, fighting is prohibited here. If you try to pick a fight, the guards will kick you out. Damn, there's guards here? Goddamn! Uh, yeah, you do have a point. You never really feel entirely comfortable here, though. I thought so. I'll oh, hurry it up then. Let's see your skateboarding skills. Give my best. And quickness. Alright. Now, this is gonna be fun. We're about to play some Tony Hawk Pro Skater right now, alright? And it sucked that looking back at like the beginning of the place and whatnot, there was a point where they showed off some skateboarding maps that we have. I wonder if I'll get to actually play those before I finish the playthrough. I'd be willing to do that. A little extra content, so to speak. Now, is it fair to use the hoverboard? I want to do it just because I just want to use it. I, <laughs> it feels like such a cheat code though. It's like, okay, skateboard. No. Hoverboard. How to play. Aim to beat the mission score within the time. If you fail, you can't beat the score in time. Paper points, you earn coins, will be obtained once you win. Try to pull off score points. Successfully land tricks with a rating of a great and higher start of a combo. Big combos for big score points. You accomplish the mission, grab all the coins, new coins will appear. Watch around, put the button, do the ollie. Speed of the approach, and turn the button effect to hide of your ollie. Quickly press the button during the ollie to score additional points. Okay, just like the old games. Man, that makes me feel old. Anyways. Grinding and sliding. Approach rail to pull off grinds and slides. Scroll the pen on the length of the trick. Alright. Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, what was that? Alright, so we just spam it. Let me get some speed up in this. Oh, I get it now. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got this, we got this. Uh oh. There we go. Damn, we've already beaten the score. So it seems like there isn't too much to it. Can I do an Ollie real quick? I'm over here. Oh, I'm sad. Just go for it. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Uh, Alright, fine. On the points. At combo six. I feel like I could have done better, but there was nothing to Ollie, bro. I'm sad. Got the escape points that we're gonna probably use as currency somewhere along the line. Not bad. Yeah? Hey, look. Mitsui. Where are they? It's the guys from the Blue King, the one in the center, their leader, Tetsuchiyota. Oh, bruh. 
what is what are these guys doing here? And look at this guy with the blue hoodie over his head, bro. This man making one hell of a face, bro. Skisma. Yeah, it is Shikishima. We have this time slot booked. Let's go, guys. Oi. Hey, Shikishima. You painted over the Blue King's tag again, didn't you? Got something to say about it. Why don't you just paint over it with something better? Asshole. But if we get in a fist fight with Chiyoda, we'll get banned from this park. Yeah, I should stop this. Hey, let's calm down, both of you. Huh? Huh? Who the f are you? I joined the Ichijo house today. Named Yagami. Huh? Yagami? Yagami? I knew you looked familiar. Yeah, it's him. He's the advisor of the MRC. I'm sure of it. Who are you? Eh? How did that make any sense? What? Who are you? Huh? MRC? Mystery Research Club. It's a club at our school. I hear that their president almost saw looking into the professor. Bruh, the way we just got ourselves just <laughs> exposed like this is actually ghetto. There's a serial high school in the Blue King and apparently I'm too famous for my own good at that school. Cause you gotta let someone like him into your club. <laughs> yeah, you've been infiltrated by a rat, Shikishima. What are they talking about, Yagami-san? Well... Okay, you joining us is off the table. Let's go, guys. Wow... That... Freaking sucked. This is awkward. I think I'll just go home. Nah, we gotta talk to Amasawa, bro. Up oh, there's the appeal. I called it. This is going to be interesting. This skater story already started off with such an interesting start, bro. I got dumped by Shikishima and his crew. What else is there to do? What? You dead ass. What do you guys want? You know that Neo Kane gang? Mm -hmm. What? Heard from Shikishima that you're looking into the professor. So, you're saying that Shikishima's crew and the professor are connected? Who knows? Time to fuck you up! Well, this is my chance to do this now. That was such a satisfying combo. It's a bit too long, so it's good for long battles. Did Shikishima tell you guys to come after me? Don't know, don't care. I'll beat it out of you if I have to. Ah, wow, they got it out real quick. Alright. There's something between Shikishima and the professor. Maybe. Keep your mouth shut. But I can work with it. Ma. Hey, your name's Yagami-san, right? Huh. Yeah, and you're a uh, Blue King? The Blue King's leader? The leader. For the time being, name's Yoda. I'm impressed. You're strong as hell. Well, yeah, against those guys. Sound confident in your fighting skills. I like that. How about you join our group? Oh, damn! Seriously? Look, the professor's been backing those guys and acting as their enforcer. So I've heard. And we've been struggling because of it. Having a great fighter like you would really help us out. It would? Why aren't you guys a famous delinquent group in HHO, besides I don't want to help with any extortion type stuff. <laughs> don't do that sort of thing. It's been a lot of times since the Blue King did shit like that. 
Now we're just a group of guys who like to skateboard, even though the public thinks of us as a bunch of troublemakers. Ah, okay. Well, no need to give me a straight answer right away. Just let me know if you ever want to hit up the park. You can find us in this area. We're usually hanging around here. Alrighty then. Well, that gave us an easy way back into the skater group, bro. I was actually worried that, that was it. Ah, give me that appeal, bro. I need that appeal level three, boy. Alright, skateboard. Uh, okay. There's a point shop in a skateboard. What did the point shop? Ooh. So, we expected this, but I got to see what that is. Alright. The Ichijo Hounds. Can we even call it the Ichijo Hounds anymore? We're part of the Blue Kings group, so I can't even call it. Like, what is this supposed to be called now? I, I guess that's why it's called the Skaters instead of the Ichijo Hounds. Wait, it's already 40% done? What the fuck? Alright, let's see this. Damn. So, can we talk to you guys right now? I bet the Sea Boys out here. What? Aren't you under age, Yoda Kun? Shouldn't be smoking cigarettes, you know? Honestly, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the warning, so you feel free to join our team now? No. You cool if I do a trial run? Oh. Yeah, fine with me. Let's just have some fun now, like skateboarding, but should. We'll save the talk for later, come on. I was just about to head to the park. Oh, damn. <laughs> I think she was going to be pissed at us. <laughs> He'd be like, bro, what is this? Uh. Ah, I think you see him. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but I'm part of these boys now. You've been screwing over the Blue Kings, but it seems like the Blue Kings aren't even that bad of a rat tag group compared to what you got going on, Shikishima. Bad timing. Get out of here. Got this spot reserved. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then we'll just have to go skate on your turf. I'll be decorating the place with my artwork, of course. Soga. Hey, hold up. If you're going to keep doing this. We're not going to put up with it. Oh, so you're gonna challenge me with your graffiti then, right? <laughs> What's wrong? Guess you don't live up to the name of Chiyota Teta. Artistic genius, maybe? Artistic genius. Son of a bitch! Wait a minute, Shikishima kun. Nah. We're all here. Why don't we do what we love, skateboarding? It's a little competition. Hey! I like the sound of that. Competition. Yeah. Dark tricks. And if I score better than you, you don't tag anything here this time around. I'm good with that. Mitsui. But if we win, you guys give us today's reservation for the perk. Uh. Okay, I'm fine with those conditions. Yagami san. You gonna be alright? Um, just wait and see. So, who am I up against? Me. I'm Nina Mia. Let's ride. Don't make it sound weird. Can't wait. You'll wait a little bit because I'm going first. That makes it fair because then I can see how many points I need to beat your ass. How'd that for you? So I have to beat that score, huh? Alright. Score 2,000 or more. Oh, this is going to be so easy. Get out of here. Let's go, boy. Oh, it's so cool. Okay.
That was too easy to do that. Oh, damn. I didn't think it'd be like that. I don't know where the Ollie's at, though. Like, where's my Ollie at, bro? I want an Ollie. Yes, sir. We miss have been added to the skateboard. Keep your word and don't tag our turf. Got it, Shikishima? Mitsui. Fine, but only this time. <sighs> Let's go, Mitsui. Yagami-san. You're a great skater, Yagami-san. I'm impressed all over again. Ah, I'm alright. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. There isn't much to this park. We need a better park, bruh. Give me some... I, I want to ollie. <laughs> I I'm being honest. Let me ollie. <laughs> Let me cook! <laughs> Guess I have an eye for talent. Hey, what Shikishima mentioned earlier? Teta Chiyoda, the artistic genius or something? He was just trying to raise it out of me. I used to be in the art club and all. That was back in middle school. Shikishima and I went to the same one and we both were in the art club. Shikishima was in the art club. That explains why he's so good at graffiti. How were his skills back then? Oh, he would win awards at contests and shit. I remember he would talk about his dream of being an artist when he grew up. But then he quit the club midway throughout his second year. Okay, I'll have to continue looking into Shikishima, but there's clearly some mystery surrounding Chiyoda too. Well, of course, it's not like we were supposed to be in the Blue Kings, to be honest. I thought we were going to be part of the Ichijo Hounds, which is weird that the mark on the map will always tell me it's Ichijo Hounds, but we're with the Blue King. Give me that appeal, baby. What now? Do we go to the park, and then something happens? I'm just assuming at this point, I don't know what else to do with this. Might figure a new skill if I read this. Ah, uh, I don't have the points, right? Okay. You can buy how you can buy as many play pass as you want, but it costs way too damn much. These skateboards cost way too much. Oh, uh, there's a dance textbook in here. Oh, uh, there's even a voucher pass if I ever want to go for that. Please don't make me have to actually come and get that for a side case finale. I'll probably get this because I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna need this for the dance club. <laughs> I'm actually gonna need that for the dance club. That's crazy. Well, there is this that actually is interesting, but I wonder if I'll even get enough points for that. So I guess we'll just have to hit up the park. Ex solo breaking. Okay, so there's some missions, and I'm assuming I have to do these to have something happen. I have to get 6,000 as a score? Let's start with these weaker ones. Get out of the way. That felt good. That combo was 12. That was like me actually trying there. Time to flank the bank. Ready then. I had D3 down here, which I'm certain D3 are just new missions that were added because of the extra content that I've got. I'm almost certain that's what D3 are. But, I guess we'll just have to see... Yeah, look at this place. Mm. 
I mean, that was cool, but I don't know if I really enjoyed it that much. It was just, you know, extra for the sake of being extra. I'll be real with you, I enjoyed the record though. <laughs> Hitting almost 20k. Let's do Vertigo. Probably give me that. Hey. Ooh, that was clean. We can't at least get this score in time. What the? F what just happened? Well, it could have been better, honestly, but I'm happy getting the coins this time around. The coins are really good here. The skate coins, dude. Hmm. Time for the last one, the open season. Not the movie. Ooh, this looks interesting. I need enough speed to go across. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. Damn, just at the very end I learned how I had to jump. I have to hold it down. That was something that wasn't taught to me in the skate park. I just now learned that. Hopefully I get another opportunity in the future to test out that kind of jump. Something happened here at Amasawa Place here at MRC. And I can clearly tell something unfortunate is happening here. What's going on here, boys? I wonder if these guys know they're standing in front of the MRC. If you win money in the next tournament, you better bring it here. Cheetah's never prosper. I haven't cheated at all. Still better bring the money. Come on, a shakedown. Guess I better put a stop to that. Here I thought Amasawa needed some help with just doing stuff in front of MRC, my guy. How about you back off? Yeah, I remember your chest face. You look very familiar. Nah. Anyways, are you okay? Thank you. Are you the teacher for the MRC? Well, I'm the outside counselor, you got me. Did you need anything? Yes. I'm, uh, my name is Machi Otoki. There was something I wanted to talk to the MRC about, so I was waiting here. But there was no response, even after I knocked. I see, get there, no way inside. Oh, well, come on in. Alright, thank you. Usually the president Amasawa is around. I forbid it, at least until the end of the term's exams are finished. Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, Yagami-san, I didn't know you were here. Kento's teacher was lecturing him about his grades earlier. Hmm? Oh, we have a guest. Uh. It's Toki-kun. You got something you want to discuss with the MRC? Okay, Toki Kun, you have the floor. Um, I'm in the esports club, and I wanted to lay some suspicions to rest. The suspicion is we're somehow cheating t with the help of the professor. Dude, don't tell me we about to go into an esports club. That's gonna be insane. Did you say professor? Think I'm gonna need to pry further. Cheating allegations. Let's hear it. So, you gotta know what cheats are, right? Uh. That's when you cheat in a game by using mod programs. Well, if that's... I, I guess that works, right? Yeah, you can make it easy to win by making characters move in ways they're not supposed to. Or be immune to enemy attacks. Anyway, we're suspected of using some sort of cheat during our last practice match. Oh. Why is that? The opponents in our practice match were a famous team. They had some professor that had been known around the world, in fact. 
But their ace player got beaten by our president. This is our fearless leader, Genya Sanbamatsu. Man looks like he should be a street fighter, bro. <laughs> Man looking like that, bro. Look at them eyebrows. Hmm? He was suspected of cheating just for getting a win. It was because of the way he won a no damage perfect victory in a matter of seconds. Well, that's definitely not normal against a professional. But to assume he cheated is terrible. They even have they don't even have any evidence. Yeah, that, that's kind of weird. Hey. That reminds me, Tokikun. What's with all the rumors about getting help from the professor? You don't know why people think that the newspaper club is just making things up. Mm. Newspaper club, huh? Guess I need to talk to them. Esports club. Um, esports are where you play games competitively, right? Yeah, we play in tournaments, and usually the games are like fighting, shooting, that sort of thing. Those are usually the most popular ones. It's hard for me to imagine what a day at that club would would be like. What do you guys normally do? Well, play games. Right. Now, on to the more pressing matter. I should have expected that. But it's not just playing. We study moves, combos of the strongest players, and we train our mental strength. Esports tournaments, if you don't have an iron focus, you've already lost. It takes work to get to that level. Like, for practice, we go to temples for Zen meditation, and also sit under the waterfalls. Now that I like to see. It's our president's own practice regimen. I don't know if other schools, esports clubs, do the same thing or not. So I was gonna ask this earlier, but doesn't it feel a little off to call these esports a sport at all? They're just video games. I forget what esports mean, but the E has a reason. It's not like you're moving your body, so how is it a sport? Moving your fingers isn't moving your body? <laughs> I mean, move my fingers to read a book, too. Uh, right. Pack it up, sis. Video games are, can absolutely be a sport. Jesus Christ, Kento got serious on that. Kento? I'm sick of hearing it. There are all, the, all this bias about games being bad that they make you stupid. And guess what? Now you have to hear my rants. <laughs> I guess he's pretty fired up. <laughs> Might as well hear what he has to say. Games aren't bad. They're not even as bad as people make it out to be. It depends on how much you play it. And how much it affects your life because of how much you play it, right? The games used in esports have a very high competition factor to win. You need to put in an absurd amount of effort and practice. On top of that, at tournaments, everyone's nerves are running high like you wouldn't believe. You need to you need a cool head, keep your focus when something unexpected happens. In other words, esports is a battle of the mind. It's no exaggeration to say it requires athletes' abilities. It makes you strong in your mental state of mind. It, it is true, though. I've, I've seen and watched people in tournaments before. It does take a lot of brain power, especially in fighting games. Fighting games are even worse compared to something like esports with, like, Overwatch or whatever, which I've watched that. That was pretty fun to watch. But esports with, like, Actual fighting is probably one of the more stressful tournaments you'd ever want to do. Because fighting tournaments, <laughs> especially fighting games in general, when it's just the 2D, you know, front to back type of fighting, that stuff is so horrid because most of the time in those tournaments, you're just going to have a guy combo you till you're dead. Or a combo until you mess up because you weren't focusing hard enough. You got too confident and you got a little cocky, you know? But then, it always is a battle of the mind of who's going to strike first, and who's going to mess up first. Where did all this even come from? Kento Kun's right. Right now, esports is recognized as its own subculture, and there are more professional players every year. <laughs> Good point, Toki. So yeah, the age of games being bad is just for children is over. Um, do you two know each other or something? Kento Kun and I are mutuals. Online friends, and I mean, online, bro, you stand in front of each other. It feels like there's more to this than online. 
Haven't we even talked in IRL before? We're not in the same year at school. Well, now that you, we've listened to Kento Kun's rant, do you have a counter argument? <laughs> I'm a solid counter talk argument. Let's count it. Kento. First of all, Kento, I never once said games are harmful or that they need to be banned, okay? Hmm? Huh? I'm pointing out that you need to stop changing the topic. Listen, what I really want to say is. Exams are almost there, and you don't study at all. You just keep playing games, and you keep failing. That's why I'm saying you can't play games until exams are over. Do you understand? <laughs> but aren't you chasing after missions instead of studying for your exams? <laughs> Me? I can. I can still handle my studies along with my extracurriculars. <sighs> My grade ranking is still in the upper percentile. Really. Anyway, until the test is over, you're not allowed to play games. And if you fail, I'm banning games for a month. Ugh. <laughs> it's like you're playing the unbanned games and the Fen Esports backfired mightily, Kenso Kun. Damn it. When I, when I don't get to play, I get all angsty, though. That's when I say you do need to take a break. When you start feeling like that, when you literally start feeling like that, you need to take a break, and it's it's the truth. That's something that a lot of people have to c uh, control, you know? So, that is literally just like a life lesson just being shown right there. Request. So, what do you want to discuss with the MRC? I want you to investigate our club and clear us of our suspicions we're innocent. So we're gonna have an esports club we can go into? God damn. Does your president uh does your president Soba Matsukum know I'm going to be uh it's gonna be doing this, alright. Okay then. Does your president Soba Matsukun know I'm going to be doing this? I haven't told him. He'd be opposed to it. That's that's a red flag. You can't do that. Well, then we, he won't be on guard, so perhaps that will make the investigation easier. All right, fine. I got me, son. Why don't you just go undercover like you always do and act as the advisor of the esports club? Girl, stop looking at me with that smile. You want me to be that righteous detective that you always look up to in your freaking mystery books? I think she likes the Agami son, seriously. Not in like a weird way, but like she admires him, and it's pretty obvious. Uh. Good idea. Let's go with that. Cool. So the club rooms on the fourth floor of the east building. Damn, a lot of them are on the east building. Okay. Okay, that's cool and all. But before I go back there, I need to do something with skaters. But so far, skaters isn't doing anything, and I don't know why. It just said, "Look into the each of your hounds." And we have to look into them somehow. I need to figure this out before we actually come back to the school. Because next time we come back here, we're going to be here for a while. Something is brewing at the Blue King. I'd like to see what it is, if I shall. Right? So, what is good, Chioda? It's been a while. Go. Alright. Cool, well, let's head over. You guys again. Hagami-san, time for us to get our revenge for last time. Fine with me? Who am I up against? Me. Get ready. Ooh. You're up, huh? <laughs> yep, and I'm starting it off. Hmm. 2,500? Dude, that is way too easy. I'm gonna enjoy my turn. Bruh, this is way too easy. Get this out of my face. Mmm, I'm gonna 10,000, baby. Mmm, felt good. Getting them points up like that. Mm -hmm. Easy. 
New skateboarding minigame skateboard races have been unlocked. Races? Okay. Give me that focus. Yes. Looks well, like I won. Let's go. Chiyoda. Hey, Chiyoda. Are you the one who's been drawing the blue king stencil? Huh? What? No. Someone else in my crew draws that. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, right. My bad. I forgot you can't draw for sh anymore. <laughs> We really did see the downfall of Teta Chiyoda, the artistic genius. Yes, you're funny. Nah. He said something like that last time too. What's with this whole thing about you being an artistic genius? That's all in the past. If you want to know, I started drawing in middle school because of my art club teacher talked me into it. And I had a knack for it. Then I started improving pretty quickly, and I managed to win awards and stuff. I saw people start calling me a genius in the newspaper. Have you ever considered pursuing that path as a career then? Yeah, there were times when I thought I'd be an artist when I grow up. But that's not going to happen for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Why not? Six months ago, I had to get a surgery for a condition in my hand, and now my hands are messed up. It doesn't affect my everyday life, but I can't draw delicate lines anymore, which I needed for my art. Oh, dude, I am sorry to hear that. <laughs> but anyways, that's all in the past. Let's focus on having fun now. I'm assuming nothing will progress until I do missions like before. There's also races. I don't know what that's about. Nothing changes in here, but we're going to be able to get this Rocketeer thing here pretty soon, which will be quite nice. There's only one mission, and it's just a radical rail. Time for rail. Keep your combo going on with your ollies. Ollie only points? Oh, boy. All right. Let's see it. Hmm. Feels good. We're about to hit appeal level 3 very soon. Exchange points. Now we have just enough for this bad boy. Skill power slide. Okay. I just need that. Oh, it's a new tiger cell? Wait. Ah. Uh, Use a skateboard to perform a power slide. Hold X to increase sliding time. You can also be pulled off a wall jump. What the fuck is this? That actually sounds really funny. It sounds really funny actually. I wanna get that. EX human ramp. Hey yo! Give me this too. Let's race. 